So in this video, let's situate our scene. We got our project five, which is just another project four. I got my cell block, and what I want to do is make sure it generates colliders. So here, click and drag this out to the scene and apply it. There's my little cell block. So obviously, I'm going to have to scale it quite a bit. And usually what I do here is just kind of line it up with my pill to kind of get scale down. That looks pretty good. Okay. If I hit play, I should be able to look around. Here's my mammoth cell block, which is black. Okay. So we're going to have to fancy that up a little bit. Under cell block, let's see what we have. We got a P cube cell block, cell block. So the FBX really didn't carry any of the naming conventions that I really set down, you know, like door, for example. And let's see what we got here. Ah, here's cell and door. And then we have this magical thing. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to delete it. Yeah. So you can see what happens if you don't like delete everything out. So let's make sure I don't collide with this. Yep, I collide with it, but I can't go through it. That's what I meant. All right, so what happens here? Well, I got um, this, but what about the cell block and what material is running it? So here's my material, here's my cell block. And I think what I'm missing here is, yeah, this right here needs another light in the scene, or I need to put this over on the other side. I think I'm going to choose to move or rotate the light a little bit. And there we go. So play. There's my cell block. I can walk up to it. It's really huge. So I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. Again, pretty huge. There we go. That works pretty well. All right. So now that I got this in my scene, and this was just basically a little setup video on your scene, now we get into uh, making sure the door gets some kind of script attached to it. I also need some form of box that detects it because we can't use the door to detect it the main reason is the transform on the door is offset so these have been using transforms to use the magical ray that hits you so if the ray was offset by the hinge it wouldn't quite work that well so now we're going to have to get into well maybe putting a little tiny thing out there that allows it to broadcast from the center of the door all right, so that's in the next video. Enjoy.